Jason, if you will present REZ 2018-11, J. C. McMullen, please, sir. Yes, sir, thank you. Um, this first particular case is a request to go from residential R21 zoning to residential agricultural RA zoning. Ultimately, uh, what has happened is the developer has not been able to sell these four lots. And his idea is trying to combine them either together or into maybe two lots and sell them as larger mini farm type pieces. And so with that, he could do that with his current zoning, no problem, turn the plat in, but he believes that someone who can afford to pay for you know, a three, four acre piece of property, if not an eight acre piece of property, probably gonna want the ability, I, I think, to probably have at least horses, like a little mini farm. And so what I recommended is he consider doing RA zoning which allows for livestock uses like that, but with some restrictions on setbacks and buffering, et cetera. And so that's where we are. You can see the recommendations that we gave you from the TRC. Ultimately, that's what we're recommending for. I, I don't see the need for any conditions on this, but that's why this request is coming to you. I do believe it helps that JC McMullen was the original developer of this subdivision. So we're being approached by someone who was very much involved I would say the only question that we have brought up that I just don't have a good answer to yet is, um, I did call Mr. McMullen last week and ask him, I'm sure there's covenants on this subdivision, and I don't know how RA zoning will intertwine with those covenants. And so that's one question I did have to develop with, I just don't have an answer for tonight, and I don't see his representatives here. But that was just a question, so I know that covenants, you can modify them, but I don't know how they're gonna modify with RA zoning. I'm assuming there'll probably have to be some amendments to those covenants so that they'll get along well together. Um, because certainly, as you can see from the original zoning map, this is not the direction they went when they originally got it rezoned. They did a residential subdivision and has developed out um, with a majority of those lots, but there's still some lots on the north, central, and western side that have not sold or been built on. So your concern about the covenants is just livestock issue or something like that or whatever. you could theoretically have a situation where we potentially rezone it to RA but then there's a covenant that restricts the use of the property from certain livestock or livestock at all normally covenants allow zoning to do things like that but without reading those covenants in detail that to me is just a concern I don't think it's worth holding it up or any type of condition it's just something I want to make sure Mr. McMullen is aware of that we're going to go through all this, and it's going to give them potentially some rights there. But you know, you don't want to create yourself a problem in the covenants because you wrote the covenants 12 years ago, and you developed a subdivision not thinking that you would want some uses like this all out there. So I'm going to do further research. I just did not have an answer for you about 5:30 tonight. So you don't know if there's any uh, restrictive covenants. I've I looked it up to their, I've looked it up to their professional and um, Mr. McMillan as well. So I, I, I don't have an answer either way. It's not part of the court record, It is. I mean, I can get a hold of those covenants if I need to. It's in the courthouse. Okay. But right now, that's just the only, to me, loose end that I want to try to have tied up before we make an official decision on that at the county level. Yeah. Commissioner, do you have a question? I do, Mr. Chairman. So, Jason, do the covenants don't generally overrule the zoning, though, do they? The co they do. They the, do? the covenants, you can get um, more specific than our zoning code can. Um, but it's self-imposed. So if you were to call our office and say, well, my covenants say this, would you enforce it? We would tell you no. We would say we can enforce regulatory zoning or planning laws, but not covenants. Covenants are a privately enforced document, okay. which is what enables them to be more specific than our zoning regulations can be. Could I add to Jason, however, if there's conflicting information, it's the zoning yeah. regulation that supersedes. Yeah, you can't allow something in covenants that we restrict in zone. Mm -hmm. Right. But you can restrict it further. You sure can. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and people, most covenants, that's exactly what they do. And are these the covenants you're speaking of that Ian put in place for the existing third prequel? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. They do. And I, I, I believe they have them. I just want to make sure that he's aware, you know, when we do this, you might have an amendment to those covenants if you really want to make this work. It's a four two acre lot says that what he's gonna do. I I think he wants to try to sell it as one eight acre piece. Um, that way you can put a house in the middle. But I think realistically if you look at the property and have the way it's shaped, you could probably do two four acre pieces pretty reasonably in there and divide it right down the middle. 
and give them each some of the pond and some frontage on Johnson. All right. <clears throat> Any more questions for staff? There being none, anyone here tonight? Wishes to speak in favor of this request on board. Anyone wishes to speak in favor of this request? There being none, anyone here tonight wishes to speak against this request? Anyone wishing to speak against this request? There being none. Commissioners, any discussion on this before I ask for a motion? There being none, I will entertain a motion at this time. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion that we accept. Um, REZ 2018-11 as presented. I have a motion Commissioner Roundtree. Do I have a second? I'll second. I have a second with Commissioner Wiles. Any discussion on this before I ask for a vote? Any discussion on the request? There being none, all in favor of this request, please say five, raise your right hand. That is unanimous, Ms. Deborah. Thank you very much, Jason. Yes, sir. Thank you. 